Hello and welcome to this video. Now I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do for ages and that is switch my fibre providers. Now because I live in a new property I've actually got two fibre lines coming into the house. So one of them is a BT one and the other is actually a hyper optic one. Now at the moment I have sky fibre through the BT line and it's fine. Um, it does the job. Um, I've not got like the highest speed that they offer, but there's a reason for that, and we'll go into that in the video. And also, then next to it is the hyper optic line. Now, if you want to see them both, I've done a video on it. I'll put the link to it up there or up there. I can never remember which one it is. So, in this video, I'm going to show you what Sky can offer me at this property, and also what hyper optic can offer me at this property, and also how much it costs because there's quite a difference. So in this video as well as doing the switch pretty much live I'll be then going through the setup of the router and getting it how I want it to be. Um, that bit might be a bit boring you can skip through that and then I'm going to do some speed tests between my existing sky connection and hopefully my new hyper optic fiber connection and see just how different things are. So uh, let's have a little look at what sky can offer me and what hyper optic can offer me now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do it as a new customer because sky have offers for existing customers but this is just going to be based on if you're a new customer signing up today what would you get now because sky know that i'm an existing customer i will have to use an address down the road a tiny bit so let's go on to sky incognito and uh, see what they can offer us Agree. Right, okay, so we want some shiny broadband. There we go. So their super fast 35 is £25 for 18 months. It is £32 for 18 months on the ultra fast or the giga fast is £55 a month for 18 months. So let's look at the comparisons. <laughs> wow. So quite a difference. So uh, the super fast 35 gives you 36 meg down, nine up. So the ultra fast gives you 145 up and 27 meg down. And then 900 meg, so that's their giga service, gives you 900 meg down, great. But 90 meg up. Now as a YouTuber, upload speed is really important because the quicker I can upload, the faster videos come online. And also, I'm thinking of doing some streaming and stuff in the future, so upload is really, really important. The Gigafast service from Sky is all right, actually. That's 90 meg upload. That's all right. But um, it could be better. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, check the availability. Now, you've got to bear in mind, I have got a fiber line from BT, which Sky can use, that's installed fresh in this property so it's a brand new fiber line I'm quite lucky so uh, now I'm going to enter some slightly personal information so uh, you can't see this bit now this is interesting because with my brand new fiber line to the property I can't actually get the giga fast service the fastest service I can get from sky is their ultra fast plus which will offer me between 470 to 515 meg download and 58 to 60 meg upload Whew. and that is 42 pounds a month for 18 months so even with like a brand new fiber line directly to my property that is the best that sky can do see i think we're on the ultra fast service at the moment not for much longer though Okay, so uh, let's go to Hyper Optic and see what they can do. So, um, again, personal information, you can't see this. <laughs> right, okay. Wowzers. So, uh, that sort of speaks for itself, really. Now, the Sky ones uh, were for a two year contract. This is for a two year contract. So we can get a 50 meg package, a 150 meg package, a 500 meg package, or a gigabit package. And look, there are those prices there. It, that is mental. 
So yeah, look at those prices. Now the thing is, this is a synchronized service. So whatever speed you have going down, you have going up. In theory, I'm gonna have a 900 meg download speed and a 900 meg upload speed. There's just no reason why I wouldn't switch. It's cheaper. I don't need an engineer out because the line's there all ready to go. And yeah, it's all it's all bargainous. Why wouldn't I switch? Now obviously I'm very lucky because I've got a new house and I've got a hyper optic installed directly to me. Now you might find if you want to switch to hyper optic, you can't get it yet. Yeah, this isn't like available to all of the country. I know a lot of Bellway home installations around this area in Essex, they've all got hyper optic wired directly into them. Um, I don't know how the availability is for different areas and different houses and stuff like that. So you'll have to check. So whilst this service is amazing, it's not available to everyone. I need to give a special shout out to all my channel members, especially David. Thank you so much for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to buy some channel merch, then just go to merch.kiphakes.tv for saving all this money and switching to a faster fiber package. You might want to thank me. You can buy some merch. Why not? Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the sign up process and actually order myself some one gig fiber broadband. I won't show that because there's a lot of personal information. I've got to set up a direct debit and basically it would just be like a load of blurred out stuff. But I am getting one gigabit fiber to my property today. It should take less than 20 minutes because I've got all the gear in the cupboard downstairs. So hopefully when we come back, I'm going to be connected and zooming like a mother hubbard. Now about 10 minutes has passed and uh, all the lights on the router in the cupboard have come on. And I've connected my PC to uh, the hyper optic connection. And uh, yeah it's working and um hmm yeah see i've got my little account on the screen here now what i'm going to do now is i don't like leaving things on the router set at their default settings because it's just a bit of a security risk really um so what we're going to do now is we're going to log into the router and actually change some settings now some of the settings i'm going to change you might not be interested in changing but i think like the admin password and maybe the names of the Wi-Fi networks you should definitely consider changing because yeah they're literally printed on a sticker on the modem and although someone might not see your modem very easily there might be some way in the future for someone to generate based on some information like the usernames and passwords so I just think it's sensible to change them to something else that only you know or in my case everyone watching this video I will be blurring out some bits and also some of the things you do see on here won't be the actual finished thing right okay so hello this is Kip doing the edit here now this next bit might be a bit boring if you don't have a hyper optic connection and probably not relevant so I would say skip forward to about the 13 minute marker where we do the speed tests and those are quite interesting we need to log into the router and to do that we need to go to this web address in the web browser 192.168.1.1 and that will take us to the router now on the back of your router you will find that there's a sticker with the admin password on so the username is admin and the password is whatever it says on that sticker so uh, I know what it says on that sticker and uh, I'm going to log in. Okay, so one of the first things we need to change here is the admin password. We don't want people to be able to get into the back end of the router. So it's best to configure it to something you remember. So uh, to do that, we have to go into the management and diagnosis and then account management. And there you go. So the username is admin. The old password is, well, what the old password is and now we have to type in a password that we will remember 
so uh, I'm going to do that and you can't see that. Right, done that. Uses a nice long one. That's what she said. Um, hopefully now, click apply. Boom. Excellent. So the admin back end <laughs> is secure. So now I'm going to change some slightly geekier things. Uh, you might want to skip this. It's up to you. So first up, let's just go to internet. And as you can see, I'm on a thousand meg full duplex. Mwah! Perfect. So if we go into local network, WLAN, <laughs> and then WLAN SSID configuration, this is where we can change the names of them. So I'm going to call my 2.4 gigahertz version kiphakes.tv 2.4 gigahertz yeah that's fine and I'm gonna set the passphrase to subscribe it's saying that it's weak but never mind right okay so uh, yeah that's fine so let's now change the name of the 5 gigahertz one so we will call that kiphakes dot tv 5 gigahertz and we will change the passphrase to subscribe <laughs> okay so if we click apply um yes that sh that's all right that's fine it's not going to stay like that and uh we'll do apply to this one coolio right okay now I'm going to change something a little bit uh, geekier. Instead of having my stuff running on 192.168.1.1, I like it to be 192.168.0.1. Don't ask me why, it's just what I'm used to. So, um, so now if we go to LAN and then DHCP server, I'm going to change the LAN IP address to 192.168.0.1 and I'm going to change the DCHPCP start IP address to 100 um, and change that as well. So that's my settings. So I'm going to click apply. Now I'm probably going to get kicked off the router now because it's changed its address. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna run downstairs and plug the computer back into the Sky Router so I can show you a speed test using my existing Sky connection and we can see what kind of speeds we're getting with that. So uh, back in a sec. Right, okay, so I've got the speed test app installed on this computer. Uh, it recommends that if you've got speeds over 100 meg, you should use the app rather than the website um, just for reasons I guess um, so, okay so let's run that speed test and uh, see how fast my sky connection is go connecting okay so we've got a ping of four milliseconds which is absolutely fine and now that download is creeping up well no it's maxing out at about 75 meg And now what is that upload speed? Let's see, oh, oh it's a struggle in it. Oh, normally I can get that up to 18. Oh, I'm having trouble getting it up though. Oh, there we go. Right, okay, so maxed out at seven meg. Okay, so I've switched the connection to this computer over to the hyperoptic router. So in theory, and hopefully, we should see speeds that are a lot faster. So uh, let's give that speed test a go. All right, let's get the speed test app up and go. Okay, ping three milliseconds. <gasps> oh my God, look at that download speed. Look at that download speed. There we go, we've hit 812 meg down. And what's the upload speed? The upload speed is even faster. Holy moly, look at that. 876 meg up. 
I can't believe those figures. Look at them. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, I'm blown away. That is so, so good. So let's just sort of go over everything again. So even though we've got a brand new fiber line from BT that Sky can take over, put into the property, Sky can't even get close to a gigabit. They can't, they can't give us that. The maximum they can give us was around 500 down and like, was it 60 up? Something like that. And yeah, that hyper optic just set up so quickly and it just works and it's cheaper than sky that is brilliant that is so good this is going to change the way i work and upload videos and stuff like that because i can just do it so much quicker that is amazing i'm so happy and also i've got three months free so yeah <laughs> If you want to become a Hyperoptic customer and get £25 off your first bill, then use my email address, which is kip at kiphakes.com in the referral box. Like I think you have to say I've been referred by someone and put in my email address and you'll get £25 off your next bill. And for transparency, I will get £25 off my next bill. So that could save you even more money. Yeah, I'm just so happy with that. And it was so simple and straightforward to set up. I mean, obviously, I've got the line directly into my house and that might not be the case for everyone. You might not be able to get the service, but if you've got a new place with hyperoptic installed into it, then I would absolutely switch because I don't think unless you get like a leased line or pay for a business line or something like that, you're going to get anywhere close to this speed for that price. That is mad. Okay, well, guess now I need to edit this video and upload it in light speed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a like and drop a comment. It all helps this channel grow. And if you haven't already, then please do subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll get notified when I upload new videos. I think that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. But for now, it's game over.